Good morning, beloved. Peace be with you. Our gospel today, <clears throat> this one always makes me chuckle, even though um, they, is, the church cut it off right in the middle of the setup moment. But Jesus, when he tells his disciples, if you remember the whole passage, to ask, you know, the, he says, the harvest is abundant, the laborers are few, so ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers. And then they do, and so he says, okay, now you're the ones. <laughs> you know, be careful what you ask for. But uh, and the church cuts it off halfway, so maybe we'll get the other half tomorrow. Today we just are seeing uh, through Matthew, uh, his version of Jesus going around and doing, continuing to basically announce, he's do, doing two things with his public life and ministry. He's announcing the gospel of the kingdom and teaching the gospel of the kingdom. So we have to remember uh, there's two parts there. The announcement is very short, the summary version of the gospel of the kingdom. Gospel meaning the good news of the kingdom. Uh, and then there's, he says he's teaching in the synagogue. So in the synagogues, he's explaining the announcement, you can say. We need to be able to do both as well. We need to be able to have summary version of the gospel of the kingdom and the gospel of Jesus Christ that we can just announce, short version. And then if somebody is willing or interested in more, we can sit down and have coffee with them and teach and explain to them some of the details what, the, what this good news implies or what the difference that it makes in the world and in our lives. And so we've, um, that one you gotta work out. There, there's some objective uh, truth of the teaching, but you gotta be able to say it in your own way, with your own words, with your own life demonstration. So you gotta wrestle with some of the words. The gospel uh, means good news, the very simple definition, good news. And so think about that it's announcing news. Like when you turn on the news station or turn on the radio and they're announcing, oh, this is happening today in the stock market or this happened last night in the sports game. Uh, it's, it's an e a news is about an event that happened. Whether you like it or not, it's a fact. Something happened. That's news. Uh, and it changes um, life. Now this is supposed to be good news. Uh, so it's, it's not good advice. And this is how a lot of um, times we present the, the gospel sometimes, or different, different people will say, if you don't want to go to hell, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, right? Well, that's not news, that's advice. If you, if you want to, you know, here's some advice on how to get a desired result. If you want to go to heaven, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Well, that's good advice. That's not good news. Now, Jesus... So Jesus is announcing the gospel, the good news of the kingdom. In Matthew, the kingdom of heaven. In Mark and, and, and Luke, they say the kingdom of God. So the kingdom. And Paul and the, the other disciples, they are announcing the good news of Jesus Christ, the king of the kingdom. If we just stick with Jesus today, the gospel of the kingdom, what his, what's his announcement? It's here. The gospel, the, the good news, the kingdom of God is not some faraway land that you're hoping will come one day. Guess what? It's here. Fact. Something happened. The kingdom came. And then Jesus, in other places, he says, repent, meaning, in, there mean, just mean change your mind and believe. Don't be unbelieving, be believing. And then he begins to demonstrate that this, new, this kingdom, this new government and authority is here by driving out everything that's not of the kingdom, right? Everything that's not of the kingdom of God, he drives out. So the demon that caused this person to be mute has to go. The sickness and disease has to go. <clears throat> so this, and then Jesus is also embodying embodying uh, the kingdom uh, the kingdom and you could say heaven with his life so the way that he thinks he thinks heavenly he has heavenly thoughts 
the way that he thinks of himself is heavenly. The way that he sees and thinks of each other people is heavenly thoughts. Meaning, how would you think of this person in heaven? There's no bad thoughts in heaven. There's no negative thoughts in heaven. There's no dehumanizing thoughts in heaven. There's no prejudging in heaven. And then he acts. His, his whole lifestyle, his whole embodying of the kingdom of heaven, he acts heavenly. So he treats other people as if they're already in heaven. Because they are, because heaven's here. So now he's treating them like you're in heaven. That's, for, that's a good example model for us to follow. How should, what does God want me to do today? He wants you and I to start behaving like heaven is here. Stop acting like, the, so the good news is not that you can go, if you accept Jesus, you can go to heaven when you die. That's not the good news. That's not a good teaching. That's not biblical. Jesus did not say, if you behave well and do a lot of things and go to mass every day and pray your rosary, you'll go to heaven when you die. He said, heaven, like Patty said, Heaven is here. It's not something we're waiting for when we die anymore. That's why he said, repent. The word means change your mind. We have to stop thinking we're holding on to something we get after we die. Jesus said, heaven is here. It's accessible now. Change your mind and believe. Believe meaning start acting on this. And to the extent that we act on heaven here, we'll experience heaven here. <clears throat> you don't got to change anybody else's mind about this. We just have to change our own mind. And when they see our mind and our life changing and walking and living in heaven while we're on earth, someone will ask you, how, I, how can I have some of that? 